Welcome back to Self Built. Today is another DIY exercise setup video. I'm hitting chest today and I'm gonna show you different exercise variations you can do with a landmine cable press. This is something that combines two very simple exercise variations into one and it makes it awesome. I've shown some videos of variations like this, but I came up with a new one today that just kind of struck me. So I'm gonna show you that one first and a couple other variations that you can do. I'll also show you the setup so you can build one for your own gym and get those gains you were missing out on. Here's the full setup. It might look a little ridiculous and confusing in the beginning. If we dissect it into pieces, I've got two landmines here with a barbell coming out, and then I'm using two lower cable attachments. And lastly, I've got this bar that connects them two together. There's a reason for that, which I'll explain in a minute. Some variations, you'll need this, some you don't. And then the last thing is just picking the right chain amount that'll keep this tension on here. You might have to figure out what chain length fits perfectly for your setup, but once you get that set up, you are good to go. The unique thing about this one is since I have that bar, it's right in line with my shoulders. What that does is I just focus on the pushing forward motion. If I don't have that bar, I start wider and it becomes more of a fly and a press, which is great, but this is just a different variation you can do with this. So getting in and out, once you're all set up is really easy and then you just push away. It adds a tiny bit of stability, but you'd have to be stabilizing with the other setups anyway. <clears throat> I like that you're able to do a completely neutral hand grip, which you don't get to do a whole lot unless you're doing dumbbells or uh, machines. So this gives you that option. And then once you're done, when you're done, I've got this bar that'll catch this so that way I don't have to pick it up and it's pretty much ready to go. Here's the second variation of this. All I did was just remove that pipe that connects them together. So now it's just the lower cable with the chain coming up to here. With the pulleys being a wider distance away, when I'm pushing, it's gonna be trying to pull me this way. So I'm gonna be pushing forward and as a fly together. So it kind of turns into a power fly a little bit. This one, I do feel more muscle activation. As you can see, there's a lot more freedom in play. And once you're done, that's it. Just let the Smith machine spot you so you're good. As you can also see with that setup, you can choose a lot of freedom and you can work one side at a time, so it's a lot of fun. Next thing I'm gonna add, you can do two different pieces. They do the exact same thing. If you've already got this, this will suffice, but I've always used this piece of wood for it. So I'm gonna go with this because it gives a different look, but either of these works and I'll show you what we're doing with this. I use the piece of wood to stabilize these. So it's more of just an upright press. You can use the pipe like we were before, but with this, I like the handle. It just feels really nice. Getting in and out takes a little bit of figuring out. So you wanna get just enough that you can turn, get your head under and then scooch up so this is right on my upper chest scoot up a little bit more now you do have the option to use these but i like to use the piece of wood since it's here and it's just a fun handle feels a lot different and then you just push up this does feel different than the first exercise again it is way more stable and i feel it so much in my upper chest and it is a totally different grip too And then once you get out, so the tension stops here, so it's not pinning me. And then I'll just use this since it's here and then just scooch under 
and ta-da, you are out. This was one of my early favorites of my DIY gym just because it felt so good. And it is still definitely up there with all the other stuff I've added over the years. If you do those three exercises in one workout, you are gonna be feeling it. I'm feeling a little something right now. It feels awesome. You may have noticed I was focusing on the upper chest the most. I'm not sure if you guys would be interested in me explaining the split that I do, but right now I'm dividing chest into two different portions for each workout. It helps me just really zero in and focus and annihilate that area. And then next time I do chest, I'm hitting a different one. So if I'm still sore in that area, it's okay. So let me know in the comments if that's interesting. But back to these setups, I'd rank them in a few different ways. If you're looking for the most stabilized setup, it would definitely have to be this one because the bars are locked together. So it doesn't have a whole lot of movement. It can a little bit, but compared to the others, it is a lot less. Muscle activation wise, I'd probably say it's the second best. The power fly one that we were doing, that one was by far the most muscle activation, but it was also the most unstable too. So incorporating both are great. And that first one that I showed you would be a happy medium of both. You get more stability and a little bit more muscle activation than, than the completely fixed, but you can change it all around. And you can do different declines on your bench. You just have to set it up accordingly but these all feel awesome. I would highly recommend if you've got anything similar to this or if you're looking to add something to your gym. If you've already got cables, just add some landmines. And if you can get some sort of barbells or pipes or something, it's awesome. Changes it up a lot. I didn't really focus on this part too much, but this is the back of my squat rack. I've got two different landmines attached. They just fan out into this. I know a lot of you aren't gonna have a Smith machine, but you can use a barbell to have these held or you can have some chain. You can have something from the top, hold these in place. It's not required, it's just a nice luxury. And that brings this video to an end. If you've got any questions, comments, or anything at all, definitely let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I've got lots of fun exercise setups like this coming in the future. So don't forget to tune in for more sale. Boo!